Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. I don't know why I'm saying another video because it's been forever since I've done one of these. Uh, I think the last time I did a video directly for OCS was uh, like when I did the update. I'm going to turn that down a little bit because it's like, well, it's a little annoying. Um, so, <laughs> getting right into it. So, this is the tour slash setup slash this is my life video. <laughs> this is literally my life. I have put countless and countless of hours into this thing behind me. It's been a crazy show. It is a one man, one man band, but you guys seem to enjoy it, so I'm going to continue doing it. So, uh, today, tonight, we're recording some two videos. So, we're re going to record this one. I'm going to trip over my words because I'm not recording in front of my camera for a very, very long time. And then uh, the second video is going to be more advanced. So we're going to go more in depth. We're literally going to see connection to connection and see exactly how things are set up. So maybe if you want to do something in your area, if you're like out of state or you're in another county and like, hey, I want to go do something like this too. It's a very advanced setup, but... It makes my life so much easier and it gives you guys alerts almost 24 seven as long as, long as I'm awake. So let's do this. So first things first, we're gonna start here and actually we're gonna probably start at the scanners first because that makes sense, right? We're getting our information from the scanners into the computers and then how do I do all this stuff? It also involves a mobile device. This is how I can do stuff 24 7, seven days a week, right here. We're gonna go into that. So, let me, I'll show you guys the scanner stuff and then we'll get to the computer. All right, so we're here at the scanners and it looks a little complicated because it kind of quote unquote is. There's a call coming in. I'm gonna grab that a little bit later because of the way that we have everything set up here. Okay, so, so we have a Uniden Bearcat, looks like it's a 355N series. This is our fire scanner, um, it does 800 megahertz, so I'm able to listen to Cass County, which is on the 800 megahertz system, as well as Odo County, I believe I have Johnson and Nemaha in here as well, though unfortunately I don't get those hardly ever, I don't know why, it's... It's a very interesting setup. Then, down here we have two uh, Whistler WS1065s. These are digital scanners. Uh, the top one here is for Royal Lancaster County. And you guys are like, well, wait, I thought you only covered like Odo, Cass, and Johnson. We do. We're also partnered with other people, and this is a uh, failsafe for us, so then uh, in fact, uh, the owner of LLCS is on vacation right now. So that means I am actually putting out his alerts, not on his account, on my account. But since we're partnered, I now need to put out alerts. So, there you go. I now have a feel safe. And then the bottom one is the county law enforcement. So county law, it uh, includes Cass County, Odo County, and Johnson County. Lately, I've not been able to get Cat, uh, Johnson County or Odo County. Basically, anything on the state system right now, I haven't been able to get to. I don't know why. It's very weird. It just broke. It's weird. Then we got the Whistler 1040, which is a portable scanner. I actually just added this one. I've had that scanner for almost a year now. Oh, probably more than a year, actually. That's why it's broken. Um... And that's going to be uh, the state scanner, so that's going to have State Patrol, uh, HQ, and A District. Again, that's a failsafe. Um, I'm not broadcasting that out onto Broadcastify, but um, again, it's a failsafe, so I'm able to listen to State Patrol. And you also might be wondering, why do I have all these scanners? Well, when you see how my setup works, uh, it is very necessary to have different points that don't overlap each other because otherwise it would completely defeat the purpose and then to completely back all this up we have about, about 45 minutes of backup power on this apc i think it's 
300 series. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but it will do about 45 minutes of battery backup. So just in case the power does go out, I still have these guys powered up, ready to go in case of an emergency. Uh, so we're still able to get alerts out. As well as I also have a generator uh, here at the house. So if power goes out for a very extended time, we can plug these bad boys into the generator and we'll have pretty well full-time scanning. So let's go ahead and start going over to the computer and let's see what that looks like. Looks like things are absolutely blowing up. So uh, it always happens. It's always quiet when well, I'm not doing anything important, but as soon as I grab something important, uh, it's really busy. So let's go ahead and head to the computers and see what that's all about. All right, so we're at the computer side now. Um, it's kind of dark. I do apologize. It's under the desk. And yeah, so on the left side here, we have a Acer Aspire 600 and something series model thingamajig. It runs, uh, it's actually our home server. Uh, so it has a whole bunch of stuff on it that is uh, actually needs to be protected and it also ha runs anything extra that I might want so it has the real Lancaster County scanner as well as the state patrol scanner I just added as well as it runs pretty well any extra thing I want to scan um, through the broadcastify website uh, so that includes like York County, Seward County, that sort of stuff I can pull it up there, and through some magic, I can listen to that through my whole system. Um, so if we have a major, major incident that I need to listen to another county that Broadcastify has, well, boom, there you go, it works. <laughs> and then, uh, to the right there on that big guy, uh, that is actually a home, uh, not a, I guess it's a home-built system, it's not a pre-built, uh, it's AMD build. I'm not exactly sure what's in it. It has 8 gigabytes of RAM, I believe a 500 watt power supply, and 500 gigabytes of hard drive storage. So it's not the most fastest thing. In fact, um, I was cleaning it out, and then when I stirred it back up, the fan was making like crazy amount of noise. So I may have to replace the fan in there soon. Um, so yeah, that is actually what is being piped in, uh, giving you guys information. And a lot of times when the feed goes down, it's because one of these decides to update without letting me know, like, hey, I want to update, and I actually want to do it now, but I'm not going to tell you, I'm just going to, you know, restart the computer or whatever. So, if the feed ever goes down for an unexpected reason, that's why. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump onto the computer screen and see what the actual nuts and bolts are. All right, so you guys are actually seeing the nuts and bolts. A lot of this stuff is actually um, actually software-based. Like, there is actually not that much uh, hardware that is uh, implemented. Uh, before we go to that, I did want to bring your attention over to the battery backup for the uh, Fix computers. This is the APC. 850. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many amps and watts and all that fun jazz it is, uh, but that is a battery backup. I can probably get about 30 minutes off of that guy. Um, and also our internet uh, modem also has about a 30 to 45 minute battery backup uh, for that. And our service provider also has a EPS on there. Uh, service. A UPS is an interruptible power supply. So, this is the nuts and bolts. So, this is our county feed, uh, county feed computer. Um, so, first things first. So, we have a stereo feed on Broadcastify. And the way that we have it ran, or that I have it ran, that I've been able to figure this out, and actually works fairly decent, this way is by using a program called Voice Meter, and this is the potato version of it. Uh, why they named their programs over foods, I don't know. The previous one I was running was banana. In fact, that's what's running on the 
uh, more an everything computer. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, this is a paid version. Uh, you do have to donate. Some banks are very picky because it's a overseas company. I've had no issues whatsoever. I use PayPal. They're happy with it. Uh, yet again, I haven't had any issues with it. Um, very, very, very decent company. It's all donate wear, so you have to donate a certain amount of dollars to get it. Um, so otherwise, otherwise, all their products are free. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see, but so we have the WS1065, so that's the bottom one. We have that one piping into here, right? And we have that one going to the left side. I mean, you might be wondering, why do we have a pan left and right? Well, we have a stereo feed, and the law enforcement side is on the left side, and the fire and rescue side is on the right side. So, we have this guy pan. So, we're bringing, this is all the inputs that we're bringing in, right? So, so this guy's pan to the left, this guy's pan to the right. Then, remember when I was saying that we were partnered with LLCS, which is the Lincoln Lancaster County Scanner, uh, Twitter, and Facebook page. They are awesome. Go follow them if you haven't already. I believe it's at LLCS Scanner on Twitter, and I believe same on Facebook. Awesome, awesome group of people. They're amazing. They know what they're doing. Um, but, you're like, well... You don't have any, like, scanners for Lincoln, right? And I thought Lincoln was, like, encrypted. Why are you able to get LPD and LSO? Well, that's a great question. And it's because this is actually the scanner right here. So this is Windows Media Player um, right here. And what we're actually doing is we're actually taking it from the Broadcastify feed. And we're able to pipe this through voice meter, through uh, virtual cables. And it's the same people that uh, VV Audio, it's the same people that uh, do voice meter. Um, in fact, almost all of this stuff is ran by virtual cables. You don't have to run through VV Audio. There's a whole other bunches of companies that have virtual cables. This is just one of them that I've actually fell in love with. Um, so this is what I actually, uh, use and you're able to put in processing. I'm able to do all kinds of stuff with this. We're not going to go into that. Uh, I'll go into that in the advanced video though. Um, so as you can see here, everything is on virtual cables, right? So we have a cable input that's going to Reaper, which will, um, I'll talk about here in a second. The other one is digital audio HDMI, and that's actually the TV that I'm, uh, so that's what you're hearing right now. And then we have a, a virtual cable C and D, and that is actually going to Zello. Uh, so I'll explain Zello here in a second. Um, and those are actually going to a program that's uh, transmitting, basically transmitting to my phone, so I'm able to listen to anywhere. So that is how we are able to get pretty much all our system stuff in here, right? We're able to get it in, we're able to process it, we're able to figure out where it actually goes. So, uh, now I do some processing before it actually hits the feed. Um, so this is called Reaper. Uh, it's a DAW, which is a digital audio interface. And what I do here is I basically process the audio before it actually hits the feed, right? Because I don't want it, when it comes off the scanner, it's it's okay audio, it's just not the greatest audio, right? So, um, so this these are two uh, feeds coming in. Uh, the left side is obviously law enforcement, the right side is fire and rescue. And if, uh, you know, you might be noticing, well, there's signal coming in, why isn't there signal coming out on the uh, master? Well, uh, it's actually not on this guy. This is just a master limiter, which helps keeps things uh, not peaking or clipping, uh, depending on how you want to put it. Um, but it goes through bunches of these uh, processes. So we have a compressor that just keeps things just kind of contained, 
uh, you know, a lot of times when tones go off, it really screws up the feed for the five seconds and people's ears bleed. So we have a compressor that kind of keep that kind of down and just, uh, it's a very simple, I don't have it tuned very well. Just something to kind of keep things together. Then a noise gate. Again, I won't go into very uh, much detail, but again, it's not set up very well, but it is uh, keeping things closed and no noises coming through. Then we do have an EQ. Uh, basically, we're just taking out the lows. So we are running, uh, as you can see there, we are running a VHF, UHF system. So you get a lot of low end noise. So I'm taking that out. I'm also taking out the high end because there's also usually noise there. I'm also running a master limiter on this guy as well. And to kind of keep things on the left side, why I have to do this, I don't know. But uh, I'm having to run a pan smoother and it works a little bit, not as well as it should, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> So we have that both on track one and track two, which track two is just a fire side. Um, and it's basically the same thing. So that is basically the feed itself. Now, how do we get it out to the feed? Well, we use a program called Radio Feed. And uh, basically what it does is it just uh, connects to Broadcastify servers and allows me to output it I literally just hit this connect disconnect button and it works. Um, you select the sound device, which is cable A, which is coming off of Reaper and going out there. So nothing too spectacular there, uh, but I figured I probably ought to show it because that is actually how the uh, feed is actually going out. So why not show it? Um, I did for a while have... Um, uh, alpha tags, I don't anymore. The way I have things set up, I just don't have the avail availability to bring out two cable, or at least one cable. And it's just not feasible for me right now. Um, so I will plan on getting alpha tags eventually again. I just don't know when. We're still kind of in the new, <laughs> new stages. This is a new setup that we're doing, so... I'm still kind of learning on how we're going to do it. Um, so, you guys probably want to know how the heck uh, I've told some people uh, in DMs of, like, hey, yeah, I listen on my phone, and I can literally listen to the scanners anywhere I want to as long as there's an internet connection. Well, how do we do that? Well, remember those... Uh, remember those virtual cables I was talking about? Well, they're all running to uh, Zello. So Zello is a walkie-talkie app. It's actually designed to uh, for you to talk back and forth, but I just use it as a listen-only device, right? So what basically this is doing is it is taking the signal that's coming from voice meter or actually just directly off the scanner, because I don't really need it to be processed. I just run it directly into Zello before it actually hits the feed. Now, what this allows me to do is it allows me to listen in real time. Like, there's only like a three second delay. I'm able to listen anywhere that I want to, as long as there is a fairly decent internet connection. And... I am able to go back and listen. Um, I have it set to delete after 24 hours. That's just so that my phone don't blow up because you get a lot of transmissions. Every time a uh, transmission is sent out over the radio, it comes in. So if we want to look at, uh, for instance, um, LS, LPDL. So... Uh, we have Vox. So Vox is hands-free voice. Uh, I can't remember exactly what Vox is, but it's basically hands-free. Um, so what it does is it's basically a noise gate. If you know what a noise gate is, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so you basically just have these uh, settings, and if there's any sound that goes above negative 40 dB, it opens it. Same with the deactivation thre threshold. If it goes below that, it 
deactivates. So basically, it's hands-free push to talk, but it allows me to automate all of this, right? So usually, you would have to push the button to talk. Well, it's all automated, right? So basically, it's like it's literally transmitting to my phone directly, right? There's nothing else. That is literally it. It's uh, very easy to set up. Um, I'll show that in the advanced video a little bit later uh, when I do that video. But honestly, it's fairly easy. Um, I'll show you on my phone here. It's, it's amazing. It's awesome to see that I am able to literally look. So this is my phone right here and so all these channels here so there's 195 messages that i'm missing i have it turned off right now because i'm obviously recording and you hear that and it pops up right here and if i click on here i go there i can listen to that is coming from zella so all of this is right here on zella and uh I have all these other channels, and it will come up here. You can set each one. You can listen to only one. Um, and once you get, uh, if you want to, you can listen live. So if I were to go to status and go to available, it's going to then play everything live. So give it a couple seconds. Hopefully Lincoln will talk. So this is literally it. Like this is everything that I do. Of course, nobody's going to talk right now. Um, but once I'm done with the recording, I'm going to actually go through and listen to most of this. Um, law en the law enforcement Lincoln side and Lancaster County side, um, I only listen to 30 minutes in. There you go. Um, so that was actually coming from my phone. And you can actually see it activate there. And you can see that uh, we got some stuff on the fire side too. Well, it's going to automatically bring it in. So that's actually why I switched over to Zello, is it staggers everything. So when, especially when Lincoln's really busy or we got a really big call on the county, in the county, Oga County or Cass County, it's going to stagger the sheriff's office or law enforcement and fire. And it's going to stagger that. And the times that those transmissions come in, is the way it's going to play. There's no overlap, and that's a lot of issue I was having. Um, I had a different, completely different setup here, is I was listening to the scanners live, but directly coming off the scanners. Well, I'd have a lot of overlap. I'm like, well, I can't hear anything. So by doing this, doing it this way, it staggers it. This uh, None of this is released to the public. You can find it. Um, but it's not fully released. This is basically the setup, and then it gets processed, and then it gets sent to that little uh, blue box there, and that's just the internet, and it gets sent out to you guys. Um, and then I'll show you guys a little bit of what I do with uh, tweeting. All right, guys, so I booted up my laptop, and actually a lot of times I'll do the alerting on my phone, because I'm usually out everywhere starting the 23rd I'm going to be starting college so I'm literally going to be doing almost everything on the road some way in another right um, I'm not going to be able to be here at home and do it on the feed computer or do it in this setup uh, period so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to Zello and we're going to go on the fire side here we're going to see what's going on um, as we were recording the scanner side, I heard a call get toned out. So hopefully we can find it. So what when I, So what we do here is we just listen. We just listen. We wait for a call. That's literally it. Uh, you know, the feed might be slow. Uh, so there's a call. I know that's Plasmuth is uh, tones. So we'll go to Plasmuth EMS. Male possible alcohol poisoning, he is having difficulty breathing, 
I cannot spell for the life of me, so I'm gonna allow. I'm gonna allow. Autocorrect. That's not how you spell poison there, people. <laughs> Alright, we're back. I just had a couple letters screwed up. It's fine. This is again why I also do it on my phone. Uh, since we went back there, uh, so we're gonna go back, we're gonna double check the timeout time, which actually tells me it's 2031. So we'll just put in 2031, not 2064. And we're gonna tweet it. So boom, you guys just seen that. If you guys actually seen it out on the alert, uh, it's there. Um, so yeah, that is exactly what I do. It's pretty simple. I usually do it on my phone instead. It's just a lot easier for me. Um, sometimes, like yesterday, we had a, um, a lot of weather. Um, so I'll have radar up. I'll be listening to the scanner on my phone, but doing alerts on my computer. Um, I also have a program called Slack that I'm able to talk to LLCS crew. And I'm able to see what they're up to. So this is weather radar. This is GR level three. Um, it's like seventy dollars, I think. It is an awesome program. It literally takes the uh, radar data from the radar in Omaha or any radar in the United States, and it outputs it to you. There's some other GR products that are awesome. Um, but this is one I use right, most rarely, and that's all the strikes, like lightning strikes and stuff. Looks like there's some stuff up in Iowa. Um, but yeah, nothing in Nebraska. This is all ground glitter. So, but yeah, that is basically the primary basic setup of the feed. And I'm going to turn the ca camera around so you guys can see me. Alright guys, so that is literally, it's like, it's, it's not that big of a well, it is a big of a deal. It takes a lot to maintain this. This is why stuff goes down all the time. I'm usually not home. I'm either working or sleeping, and it is a big nightmare when things break down. People get cranky, which I completely understand, and it is a lot being a one-man band, but hey, I have fun with it. Um, it has been awesome to uh, be partnered with LLCS. They have been such a wonderful team, um, especially since starting the 23rd, I will be basically living in Lincoln because I will literally only be at home. And uh, also, HQ's location is Unadilla in Nebraska. It's in Otto County, Central Otto County, if you guys are ever curious. If you guys ever want to stop by Unadilla, we have an awesome gas station with awesome people. It is awesome. Everything's just awesome today. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Happy listening to Scanner. I appreciate you guys so much. Literally, all of this would not be possible without you guys. I would be literally spending all this money for no reason. It's very expensive. You also have to have a fairly decent internet connection. You also have to have a fairly decent phone. And you have to also sell your soul to the devil because you will not have a social life because you'll be tweeting 24-7 because people get upset because... the tweets are delayed which I totally understand but it cuts out my social life anyway <laughs> see you guys later thank you guys again so much I know uh, you guys have been waiting for this for a very long time and I do apologize life did just get in the way though and this I just wasn't now able to actually sit down record have fun and I will see you guys in the next time bye